So what's it about? Uh, well, this is um, here is uh, the Raspberry Pi computer, uh, and um, it's really the next frontier in educational computing. It's a credit card sized uh, DIY computer that was developed in uh, England, and it comes from cell phone technology. So this one chip here has um, the memory processing graphics unit, and uh, engineers at the company that made this chip, Broadcom, said, well, you know, instead of using it for a cell phone, what if we took this chip and put it on a board with standard connectors around it and made it available for the education market. So um, it's out there. They've sold half a million of them. They'll, there'll be a million of them out there by the spring. And so there's project boxes that companies are making for it. So yeah, what are some together. Project box. Um, you can, and the idea is that you you can sort of get it up and running. Well, this is a, a cheap monitor you can get from the drugstore. It's a regular you know keyboard with trackpad, USB hub to power it, and um, you just load the software on a USB card. And there's a lot of people making different versions of that. And so with just stuff you probably have laying around your house, you can get a whole computer running. And because the board. This one is $35. There's going to be a version very soon where they're going to leave the network chip off and the networking port off because um, at $25 it's so cheap that you can sort of preload a project or a piece of software and at $25 you can like embed this you know in your mailbox and have it monitor you know with a photo cell with mail drops in and then this is a um, you know, $11 Wi-Fi module that works with it, so you can pop that Wi-Fi module right in here, and you've got, you know, for $35, $40, a, like a remote sensor module that you can custom code to do whatever you can dream of, so. And then this is uh, the other project that uh, is all PC-related. Um, for the last two and a half years, I've been working with a nonprofit in Washington called uh, the Lubuto Library Project, and um, they curate physical books, children's books, um, in the basement of a church in D.C. and ship them out in pallets of 4,000 books at a time. They build culturally um, correct library buildings in Lusaka, Zambia. So there's two of them now. There's a third plan. And then they adopted XOs um, and wanted and brought me in uh, to develop eToys-based uh, lessons, uh, language okay, literacy cool. lessons. You want to demonstrate a little bit of this? Yep. So I started out two years ago recording uh, phonetic sounds of the Bemba language, and uh, this is the um, Bemba alphabet, and so it's kind of faint from the laptop, but this is um, uh, each letter uh, spoken out, and so um, we did some prototype uh, lessons, so it's a template I sent over, and this is uh, artwork done by children on XOs and eToys in the uh, walk-in uh, community center and then a group of teachers work with them weekly to actually create uh, these flashcard style lessons. So that was done with $30,000 of funding from a, a foundation in Italy that supports libraries around the world. Uh, and then we applied to the uh, USAID um, All Children Reading Challenge and we're one of the 32 winners of um, uh, grant. We got a, the maximum $300,000 now to take this collection which is 700 lessons and refactor them, you know, make them more interactive, you know, uh, improve some of the content, so that's for the next year. Cool. Yeah, yeah that sounds pretty excellent. Yep. What's this yeah. one here? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is um, uh, the the Lego We Do uh, low cost robotics kit that is about one hundred and twenty dollars from Lego Education, and it goes out to a USB box. And I just have it here because it actually works with the Raspberry Pi. Okay. And so the Raspberry Pi software comes with Scratch, and um, and it works with the Lego robotics kit. So cool. Yeah. Cool. Hey, thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks.